what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Mo. i am back from finland and it was an amazing trip we got to meet the teams at supercell for boom beach for clash of clans heyday all the different games we got to meet ilka the uh founder ceo of everything uh we got to meet so many people i got to meet a bunch of youtubers it was great great fun but now we are back on that video grind guys definitely keep on looking out for the sneak peeks i wasn't able to post one on this last one because i was in the air and flying for like 15 hours but we are back we are up we are running and we are on our clash without walls account now as you can see i've got all these gravestones around my base and i'm gonna start leaving them there just to try and fool some people because uh, I think that it's been working. Let's go ahead and look at my defense log. So you can see some of them have gotten a good amount of loot, but that's because it's only from my uh, mines and my pumps because I didn't play on this account while I was over there. So let's watch a couple of these and see how the defense is going. So in this one, it looks like a bunch of the traps are already done. He starts off with a lightning spell to the dark elixir store <laughs> or to the gold storage. That is hilarious i haven't even watched this one yet looks like he's got his wizards up here at the top going to town he is going to bring them down and attack from the top uh looks like he's got barts trained up besides those wizards so he's gonna spread them all out at the top of the base let's see how well he does uh there's a bunch of loot in my storages or in my mines and my pumps and my storages really so let's see how well he does uh, when it comes to attacking all that. My mortars are doing some pretty good damage in the center, as are the wizard towers. Um, it looks like they're going to take out everything that is attacking the gold storages, except for these two wizards right here. They got distracted on them. Ah, oh, they were looking at them, and then they got distracted. So they are getting a whole bunch of free gold right now. But we've got 100,000 100, gold left over. They're still going at it. Why is this? There we go. Now we got the mortars focused on it, and it is done. So... 86,000 gold was saved and 141,000 elixir was protected. So that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I think that this account is really, really interesting. I'm going to go ahead and attack and then we'll come back and watch some defense replays. But this attack uh, or this base is really, really interesting to me because it confuses people because they don't know how to attack it with the fact that it doesn't have walls. And it also, um, it's, since it's not, it's still organized, but walls kind of organize things and, and funnel uh, troops around a little bit easier even when you're attacking you can kind of read where the walls go but with this uh, it's kind of hard to figure out where your troops are going to go between building to building so I'm going to go find a base to attack though so that we can get some loot and get some upgrades going because we got over a million gold so we can definitely upgrade some stuff so I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds once I find a base worthy of attacking all right all right, guys, so why don't we try out this base? This base doesn't look too bad. Um, I think I'm going to take out this mortar on the inside um, of the base right there, and then we're going to spread out and try and take out uh, the mortar over here uh, as well. Since that one's so close to the edge, I didn't want to lightning it because it's going to be a little bit easier to get to once our troops get in there, and we should be able to take it out fairly well, um, depending on if our archers head in there after this air defense or not. So... We're just going to keep on spreading out around. Uh, looks like he's got a whole bunch of buildings upgrading. So we have already gotten that uh, that mortar done and down. The other one up at the top is upgrading. Let's take out this wizard tower right here. Come on, take it out. There we go. And now we are just going to get our guys heading in the center of the base, looking for that gold, and they are going to get it all. They're going to get all of the gold for us. Um... So I'm sorry if I sound a little bit congested. I got a little bit of a cold while I was over uh, in Finland. It was really cold there. I liked it, but I don't know. It made me sick. <laughs> so we're heading into the center of the base right now. We've got a whole bunch of troops in there, and they are getting all that gold for us. Hopefully they head over to the elixir as well because I think that I've got a couple of troops uh, and spells and whatnot that I can research. So they are in the middle, taking out that town hall. It looks like it's a little bit skippy. Uh, right now my computer hasn't ran in a while so yeah that might be why it's being a little sketchy but we are getting all of that loot taking out that elixir hopefully we don't lose too many of our troops before we get it all but we're going to so there's going to be about 97 about 90,000 left over uh, once they are done with this dark elixir storage uh, they will head on over to the 
to that other elixir storage, and that wizard's probably going to take him out in one to two shots. Uh, let's see what happens here. Come on, take it out. And, oh, nope, the wizard didn't even focus on him, but we got an okay amount of it. We've got this uh, lonely little archer over here. Wow, taking about a hundred or about a, yeah, uh, about a thousand gold. No, like 200 gold from each tick on that thing. Once she's done with that, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. Or we'll just let the king finish it, and we are going to see how much loot we got. So 152,000 gold, not bad, 95,000 elixir, and some dark elixir. So that means we are going to be getting our king fairly soon. Um, 10,000, so not really fairly soon. <laughs> all right, let's, first of all, let's see uh, what we can research. I'm going to go ahead and train up some spells, train up some more of our Bart, uh, because Bart is life, as we all agree. Everybody always hashtags that and tweets that. Again, guys, sorry if I'm not as energetic as normal. I'm trying to get over this cold and still uh, give you guys content. So we've got a million three hundred thousand gold, and we've got uh, that one's level eight. Let's go ahead and upgrade this cannon right here and this cannon right here. So we're gonna get those maxed out. All the rest of the cannons are maxed out. Yep. So we're about to have max out cannons for Town Hall Seven, which is awesome. Uh, what are our archers? Our archers are, I believe they're all maxed out. Eight, nope, seven, seven, nope, only one of them is. <laughs> so we got to get some more gold to do that as well. Let's see what we can research uh, and see. Ooh, goblins or wall breakers. Goblins or wall breakers. Goblins or wall breakers. Let's do goblins. We're going to train them up, get them going. And then let's go ahead and that's level 10. This is level 11. Can we upgrade this? No, we don't have enough. So we are going to, uh, let's watch another defense replay because they've been really, really interesting lately. Let's watch this one with Dragon. So he got 60%, um, but I bet he didn't get into the center uh, where all the loot was because there's 500,000 available and he did not get that much. So this is going to be interesting, especially to see how his dragons do. So um, our air defense down at the bottom probably isn't going to help too much in this attack. But he's got some giants up at the top, not doing that much damage at all. You can see they're just distracted right there. Okay, sorry, my face cam just disappeared. Um, so it looks like we're going to fade that out again. <clears throat> sorry about that and he's got the dragons I don't know why he dropped that one dragon down on the bottom with that uh, maxed air defense that wasn't the best idea for him to do he is heading off he's got a couple more dragons up at the top but the archer towers are going to be doing work to them and once they continue moving in the wizard towers should do some pretty good damage as well we've still got both of our gold storages intact our mortars are doing work on the archers and the barbarians. Looks like this one dragon up top is going to get into the gold. Let's see what happens. Oh, the bombs took him out. The bombs took him out. So he's not getting any of my gold. Keep your hands off my gold. That is mine. And this other dragon is just sitting here taking out this elixir. So we actually saved 200,000 gold on that, guys. That was... Awesome, the Tesla over here and the Wizard Tower and the Archer Tower are going to take out this dragon fairly soon. That Tesla is only level one, so it's not doing that much damage, but it is about to wreck him. And that is that zero percent, so he did not, not that zero percent, that zero time left over. Um, so he missed out on 200,000 gold. Those bombs in the middle were clutch on that one, so that was awesome. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode of Clash Without Walls, guys. I am back in the States hopefully not leaving anytime soon so that we can get some more videos out for you guys. I'm going to be trying to post two to three videos for y'all daily now. So definitely tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody that Molten is back, and I will see you guys later. As always, guys, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you.